Don't miss your chance on winning this Outback Mini 2.0 from FTX. On the 27th of June, we're going to have a raffle with all the subscribers, so make sure you subscribe. Then I'm going to ship this car to the lucky winner. So subscribe, and it could be you. Welcome to the Turtle Works Mountain Crawler Raceway. Here we are, and it's time to get started with our Crawler Summer Event. Are you ready for some racing? In our lineup, we have the Felestis driving the Toyota. The last couple of weeks have been really, really busy for them with all the mods that they've been putting into their car. And next up, we have Victoria in the Hummer. This is definitely the oldest car on the track with 12 years running. And last but not least, we have T-Rex driving the Ford Banter. This is probably going to be a smooth ride with all the mods that have been done on this suspension. Let us take you through the track. At the top, we have the main gate, the start gate, going down the steep hill where accidents are prone to happen. We have a gate at the bottom, making sure all the cars are going the same route. Then we have another one just behind that. Then it's up to you which route you're going to take. If you take the left route or the right route, but coming through over here, doing the zigzaggy part, going through the loose rocks and eventually up through the finish line. And first up, we have Victoria and the Hummer, taking it very easy on the downhill. The penalties are 10 seconds for a repo and 5 seconds for touching a gate. Easy does it. Choosing a different camera angle on this. What is she going to do? Oh, she's going for the left. Slowly trying to get that steering to get through those rocks. But she makes it very nice. Now coming up to the gate, she needs to make sure she doesn't touch that. And oh, she's getting close, but that was an easy going. And coming to the second gate, squeezing through there, she's a bit far on the right, but she makes it. Coming off to the rocky area, she's probably going to choose the big rocks on the left. Choosing the left route is probably always the safer route to go, and it saves you a lot of time. It seems like she's running into some problems. The back wheels aren't turning. Let's get a closer look on this. Yes, definitely. The back axle seems to have a problem. And the mechanics are rushing to get this fixed. It's going to be a trail fix, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hope it's not a big problem. It looks like it's only a loose bolt. Let's tighten that up and send the car back onto the trail. The vehicle gets repositioned back into its spot, but there will not be a 10 second penalty. Victoria is taking it easy up this narrow path here, getting stuck on the chassis, but bouncing her way through. Coming up to that pointy rock. Whoa, she almost flips on her back. She, oh, she went really, really high on that one. She has to go a little bit to the left to squeeze past it. The tires always really, really get hooked up on that. Not good for the axles, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hope she doesn't roll over. This does not give justice to how steep the situation is. She'll have to do a one point or three point turn on this. Oh, and over she goes. That'll be a repo. Oh no, it's not a repo. She managed to get back onto her tires. Now she just has to line the car up to get past those gnarly loose rocks. Going backwards again and trying it again. Oh, she got hooked up. Bouncing twice, bouncing three times. Oh, and the bounce took her into a wrong direction. Gets hooked up on the axle, tries to get it with the reverse again. And slowly, yes, yes. Oh, she's getting hooked up. Can she make it? Yes, she made it. And now off to the finish line. She's so close. Oh no, I cannot believe this is happening, ladies and gentlemen. She obviously has to now go backwards down and redo that whole section again. Off she goes, wasting no time. Goes a little bit high, lifts that tire a bit, but she redeems herself, squeezing through, turning in a little bit sooner, trying not to tip over. This is much steeper than it looks. Ladies and gentlemen, she's fallen over. This looks like a repo, adding an extra 10 seconds to her total time. Repositioned, she is in line with the rocks, taking it easy, trying not to make a mistake now. She really can't afford it, but she almost, almost made it through in one piece, getting stuck on the diff. And she made it bounce through, and there's the bell. Next up are the Felestis, and off they go, taking it easy. Oh, whoa, losing a bit of control there, and oh, now flipping onto the side. That looks like a 10 second penalty. Can he redeem himself or is this a definite repo? And off he goes. He needs to be careful. This is a steep rock. 
he's gone completely wrong on this one. It looks like he's gonna fall, yes. And can he redeem himself? Is he stuck or is this a 10 second penalty? He made it. Now it's just to make sure he doesn't touch a gate. He needs to squeeze through, he needs to do a couple of point of turns to get that car through that gate. He's going to need a few attempts to squeeze through the gate from this side. It's very narrow, but it looks like he's gonna make it without touching it. I think this is his final attempt and can he make it? Yes, he made it through. Now he just needs to line up for that second gate. But there's a big rock in the way and it looks like he's a bit stuck on that. Hope this is not 10 seconds for him. Let's see what happens. Ah, oh, 10 second repo again, ladies and gentlemen. The angle from this side is a bit narrow for the gate. Getting hooked up on the axles, squeezing through and touching the gate with the right front tire. That was not a good one, ladies and gentlemen. Another five second penalty for him. But he needs to pursue on taking the smoother section and finding grip, managing to get up onto the smooth section. But I think he needs to back it up just to get the front past that rock a little bit more. And he needs to keep the metal to the pedal. He's running out of time. I think he's already on three minutes at this stage of the race. Keeping everything intact, trying to take it easy, but he gets hooked up on the rear axle. Looks like he has to reverse and bump it over that rock. But somehow it looks that the car is losing power more and more. I think he is running out of juice and that's exactly what just happened. After a 30 minute charge up, he's on his way again. We've got a different camera angle on him here. Let's hope he doesn't fall on his side and gets another repo. He's taking it really easy, but this is a very steep and difficult part, ladies and gentlemen. He's trying his best, trying to find grip, but he's just not managing. The rocks are moving under his wheels. He's busy trying to maneuver the car into the correct position, doing a couple of pointer turns. He really needs to get the front of the car up as high as possible onto the hill so that he doesn't get another repo or a 10 second penalty. But it looks like he made it. Now he just needs to reverse and point the car in the right direction. That is the perfect position to get up that mountain. Let's see if he does it. Hopefully he doesn't wheel spin and slide off to the side like he did last time. He's battling a little bit and oh, that back wheel just, just hooked up and it looks like he's going off to the side. And that's another 10 second penalty for him. The repo is in his favor pointing the car into the correct direction. Hopefully he doesn't get hooked up on that big rock. Oh, he's gone a little bit high. Needs to back up a little bit and get the nose just to squeeze past that rock. Looks like a steering angle is not in his favor. He's constantly trying to get off the rock and off he goes for another repo. Pointing in the right direction. I'm sure this time he's gonna take it easy, keeping grip, finding grip, and it looks like he's going up on that rock again. This time he was a little bit further to the left and pulling through, it looks like he's gonna make it and there's the bow. And off goes T-Rex. Look how smooth that suspension is allowing him to shoot down that mountain, bouncing off his first obstacle. He's a little bit further on the right than he actually wanted to be. Now from this angle, the gate is far too narrow. This is definitely not the position he was wanting to be in. He has a 45 degree angle on his steering, enabling him to get through that without one backup. Now lining up for the second gate, let's see if he manages without touching it. Getting quite a steep angle on the one rock, bouncing over and gets through it without touching. Coming over to the big rocks, very gently, very easy done it with one backup and pursuing over to the loose section. Coming over to the narrow section, will he get stuck? This is always where the bodies hook up. And it's the same with T-Rex. The car is balanced pretty well, but can he keep the wheels on the ground? He's putting a lot of strain onto the drivetrain to get past that rock. Boy, he's just hooking up and not allowing him to go. Now he just needs to make sure that he can turn the car around without tipping over. He's going quite far up onto that rock, managing to reverse quite a far way down to point the car into the right direction. Oh, unfortunately, he tipped over onto his side. Can he make it back? Yes, I cannot believe this is happening. Now he just needs to point the car into the right direction, up the hill and not waste any more time. This looks like a track record. Can he keep everything intact? Went a little bit high on the mountain, but that suspension is really working for him. And off he goes straight through and across the line. 
What an incredible race. Here we have the Finest is in third place with a total time of 4 minutes and 45 seconds. In total, 40 seconds penalties on repo and a 5 second penalty on one gate. In second place, we have Victoria with a total time of 3 minutes 22 seconds, 10 second repo penalties and she managed to get no penalties on the gates. And the winner for this week's race is T-Rex in the Phantom Bucky, coming in at a total time at 1 minute 35 seconds, no repos and no gate penalties. What a race ladies and gentlemen, cannot believe he broke the track record from 3 minutes going down to 1 minute 35. And that's it for this week. Thanks for watching and join us next time on the Turtle Works Mountain Crawler Raceway, where the losers always lose.